He ain't got no flyers, man. He ain't got nothing, man. There's a blizzard brawl. He hit me with the one. That's the 6 1 run right there, folks. That's the 6 1 run right there. Clutched it. Clutched it. Azorius doing it. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. We're doing Changeling Angels, or as I like to call it, Destroying Angels, which we just had a lovely discussion about what that means. What is a Destroying Angel? It's a type of incredibly deadly mushroom that has nothing to do with the knight's deck, but it still sounds cool, right? Um, and that's what's important because, uh, you know, sometimes style is uh, sometimes style is more important than uh, than we give it credit. So let's take a look here, guys. This is an Azorius Angels, the final flight of the Azorius Angels. I don't know if I'm going to be able to revisit Azorius Angels coming up in the future. Simply because it is um, not really well supported deck in um, Strixhaven. But either way, I think we'll have a good time tonight. Really turning up the jank on this one. Really, really getting into the... Um, really getting into some real twisty shit. Let me show you. Um, fight is one. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. First, before we get to the, before we get to the show, I need you to ask it. I, I need to do. I need you to do something for me, guys. Tenderly hit that like button. Gently hit that subscribe button. Or else the like and subscribe will come and get you. Um. He grows more powerful by the day as we get more and more subscribers and more and more likes on the channel. Um, his power grows. Join us on a stream every night, twitch.tv slash at about 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, sometimes at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, depending on the day. And of course, if you can't get enough villainy in your life, you can check out our Discord and by popular demand. Um, We do have an Aether Hub set up. All of those links will be in the description, so check out my Aether Hub. So now, Fight is one. Probably one of the best cards out there uh, for indestructibility. Two creatures become indestructible and get 1-1. One, one. For one mana, it's an instant. Yes, please, sir. Uh, we only have one human in this deck, but still. Uh, preventing two creature cards from getting board wiped by Doomscar or by any other crazy thing is very, very... Um, is very powerful light of hope you know i love it destroying target enchantment um one one counters and target creature and gaining four life is uh everything you need to be able to do with this deck it's everything you need to have uh it's just an awesome white card to have in your toolkit speaker of the heavens one one vigilance lifelink and it cre create angels um 1-1 uh, one, in one lifelink, so we want to get 20, 27 life, which is kind of the goal for this deck, is to get 27 life. We're going to show you some other stuff we need 27 life for. Angelic Ascension. Exile a target creature or planewalker. It con its controller creates a 4-4 white angel token creature with flying. Love this card because it is a planeswalker you can exile as well. People forget that. You can even play it on your own creature cards um, in case they're just going to kill them. If somebody's just going to kill you know, Angel of Vitality or something like that. Um, we can just exile and turn it into an angel. Uh, it's also going to trigger some of the good stuff for us. And I got Tybalted earlier today. I'll tell you a fun story. I got Tybalted. The guy brought out Ugin. I immediately, because I had two mana out, immediately played in uh, Angelic Insection on the Ugin. On the turn two Ugin he played, he scooped. He was not ready for to just not have his OP second round card out, just being eliminated. So Angelic Ascension, very useful card for us. 
Um, it's also why we call it Destroying Angel, because we're going to use it on ourselves. I'm going to show you how. Youthful Valkyrie. Uh, a 1-3 early creature drop. Good blocker, flying. And whenever another angel enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter. It can get pretty big as time goes on. <clears throat> Lofty Denial. Pretty much everything we have is flying. Great counter spell, uh, especially to lock out that really, really sweaty ultimatum player who's just got all of his men ready to go for ultimatum. No, sir. You don't get it off. Angel of Vitality. If you would gain life, gain that much life plus one. Angel of Vitality gets plus two if you have 20, plus two, plus two, as long as you have 25 or more life. Um, we want to gain life in this deck. This is solidly in the life gain area. Uh, it's also going to accentuate and accelerate all the life gain we do get. Righteous Valkyrie. I love this card, guys. I love it. I'm not going to lie. Probably one of the best cards that came out of Keldheim for me. Um, it powered my extremely, extremely mythic-powered um, Burnt Offering deck. I'll put a little icon up in the corner in case you haven't seen it. Check out Burnt Offering. And it is extremely powerful. Whenever an Angel Cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. All we have are Angels and Clerics. Okay, guys, it's always going to trigger no matter what we put down. And if you have seven or more life, your, your creatures get plus two, plus two, which means that already Angel of Vitality is going to turn into a 6-6. Six, six. Absolutely worth getting a place at one of these, guys. If you play one mono white or life gain, it's worth it. Just two Starnhelms. Uh, it can help make things cheaper, but honestly, I don't want to overload on them. Um, just two of them. It, it can help later on. Uh, it is another human. It is another cleric. I was lying. Uh, Speaker of the Heavens is the other. Isn't the only cleric and human we have. We do have her, but she's kind of forgetful. Um, we might, might remove her if we don't need her. Because uh, honestly, we do have a lot of creatures in this deck. Now, here's where things get interesting, guys. Here's where we get into the jank. Glasspool Mimic. Okay? It's a shapeshifter rogue. You may have Glasspool Mimic enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control, except it's a shapeshifter rogue. I want as many Righteous Valkyries on the battlefield as I can. I want sometimes as many Angels on the battlefield as I can. It's also a blue mana. So if we need the blue mana, which is not super important to this deck, but is important, um, we want to get as many of these Angels on the board as we can. Linvala is a great Angel. This is your board wipe uh, protection here. We might honestly add more of her uh, overall uh, instead of Starnhelm. This is who I would replace it with. She's an angel wizard. She can sacrifice. And uh, if we get Hexproof, and we can choose Hexproof or Indestructible. Okay? So we can do a lot of different things with her. We're not almost ever going to get that party ability down. She is a wizard. Um, this is a rogue. This is a cleric. And I don't believe we have a warrior. No, we don't have a warrior in the deck. However, <clears throat> what we do have is Orvar the All Form, which I don't see enough playing around with the jank with, man. You think, um, you think that with as much jank as this guy would have and his gross tentacle things, uh, he would have more and more play, but he doesn't. It's a damn shame. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more permanents you control, create a token that's a copy of those targets. Whenever a spell or ability causes you to discard a card, create a token or copy of that target permanent. Discarding, anti-discard, and things. So, check it out. Angelic Ascension, Light of Hope, and Fight as One are all instants. That means if Orvar is out, Here's the jank, guys. And we target ourselves with any one of these. It creates a copy. So what we want to do is put Righteous Valkyrie on the board. Okay. Then we cast uh, an Angelic Ascension on um, Righteous Valkyrie. It becomes, we get a copy of it, the angel. It becomes an angel, a 4-4 four -four angel. And then it triggers that twice once when the copy comes in it triggers because that gets priority for four and then once again when the angel comes in triggers again for four boom boom we're already on our way any one of the creatures that we target with any of our instants or sorceries automatically become doubled we just get more and more and more and more and more and more of them we can just absolutely create angels out of control with orvar i don't want to go four because he's not he, i don't want to get flooded with him i think three is the perfect number 
we can absolutely get out of control crazy if we get the angel engine up and running. Four planes, six islands, four henge gates, and two fabled passages, also known as Stignox's Delight. Um, so if you look at that, that's 22 with Glass Pool Mimic. That's actually really 25 mana. We don't really need that much because if we take a look at it here, we're really running only at 2.3 average. We're on the verge of aggro here. We don't have any turn one plays, but we're pretty quick. 26 creatures, 14 angels, 10 clerics overall. Um, 14 instants, 20 lands total. Uh, 23 if you count the fabled passages. We have a pretty healthy mana get base. Heavy on the white and not so much the blue. Our lovely Azorius backs there. Um... And we'll take a look, get it ready. One, two, three. And all right, my alternate view, guys. Here we go. A uh, few early plays. We're really getting started at two, uh, three. We need three mana, guys. We need three mana to run this. This is where our meat and potatoes is done, is at three mana. Um, absolutely it is. So um, who's challenging me here? Sanity Assassin. Hey, he just beat Zenith Flare. Good for him. Um... Okay, so that's what we're looking at here, guys. Let's see if we can't get into a good game and we can't get these multiple, multiple um, trigger cards off and show us some real healthy jank. All right, so uh, disconnected in the last game. So we're going to start with this one. Um, sorry about that, guys. I don't have the greatest internet. Um... I'll try it. Not great, but I like that I have my counter spell. Oop, yeah, we're already dead. Uh, if it's mono red aggro, which I'm almost 100% sure it is. Oh no, it's Gruel. Okay. Unless you're playing aggro, you can't beat mono red aggro. It's it's next to impossible. Um, it's a shame. I wish it was different, but. Uh, I get less upset with mono red aggro. The reason is people are like, oh, but you don't hate on mono red aggro, and that's so much of the meta. Mono red aggro has always been part of the meta. You know what I mean? Like, there hasn't been a time where mono red aggro wasn't an issue. Um, so that's kind of why I'm like, whatever, uh, when it comes to mono red. Um, because ultimately it's not really... I mean, it's something that I've dealt with, you know, forever. Um, oh, there's Questing Beast coming in for the big hits. All right. Boom. Okay, now we're cooking with portals. Elysian Karyatid. All right, now we're cooking with portals. Glass Pool Mimic. Uh, you want to mimic him? Okay, now we're going to go in for the hit. Yes, Trickery and Deception. 
finest forms of warfare. Uh, if he tries to hit me with something big right here, it's getting countered. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Right, he's gonna load up on mana. What's he gonna load up on? Give me the all. Give me all the mana. Yeah, yeah. Give me all the mana, bro. Here we go. No, thank you. You don't need that. You don't need that, bruv. Um, all right, we're going to go in every day. Hit, hit. There we go. Hey, Vegeta, what's up, man? Questing Beast and where to find him. Um, he might go in. We're doing all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Righteous Valkyrie. Hit the ground. Trigger, trigger. And we're going to go in. There we go. All right. All right. Stars lined up for that one. Very nice. We were able to trick him. He was going a little aggro. Caught him speeding. Uh, and got him on that one. Okay. Weren't really able to get the nice jank off. But we're going to get there. We're going to get there, guys. I'm going to show you some jank. Um, Frost auger. Okay. Let's keep it going. Valkyrie, yeah, we have a nice setup here. Volatile Fjord. Good looking card, though. Mm, let's see what we got. Might have some bird. Nope, we have Fortel. I am guessing Giants. I am guessing Giants. I'm going to hit the Valkyrie, though. I might be able to outpace him. If I hit Glasspool next with Righteous, um, I might be able to really, really hit the woe on this guy let's see uh, okay so we're gonna hit glass pool he might have a counter spell yeah saw it coming that's fine um, we got to push hasn't really shown what he's doing yet. Ah, uh, okay. A little dragon. A little hasty dragon there. Um... We're just gonna go in. We're gonna try some... We're gonna try some sketchy here. We're gonna try some real outmaneuvering stuff here. I want to hold on to that. Whatever he's playing, he's, he's got a handful of cards, so I'm going to hold on to that. Let's see what he does. Infuriate. Um, no, let's ascend. You know what? Yeah, let's ascend that. We 
we gain the we gain the life. He gets infuriate, and then we can pop it. Oh, we couldn't we couldn't declare blockers. Okay, storming entity. Yeah, you don't get that out on the board. You don't get that out on the board, Holmes. All right. So it's, is it prowess, which you don't see much. I hate to beat up on it. You don't see much. I hate to punish people for playing off meta, but... Um, I think that Volatile Fjord was a mistake. That slows you down, especially if you're trying to play fast. Mm. We're gonna we're gonna absolutely this this dude is is gonna suffer because of our this is like uh, when Batman beats up a low level criminal and he ends up becoming a super villain. Um, I just wanted to steal to make ends meet and now I'm deformed. Hey Orion nineteen seventy, what's up, man? Thank you for coming by. Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, no. Okay, he was a nice guy, man. He's trying to play off meta. I respect that. I'm playing off meta. He's playing off meta. We're just a couple of guys just playing magic cards, and that's how it should be. Um, you know what I mean? That's how it should be. What is up, Orion? Um... <clears throat> We're doing big things tonight with angels. Are you from the YouTube channel or are you just off the street, my man? Because you thought my, uh, you thought my whatchamacallit, my, uh, streaming title was funny. Takuto. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. I'm going to keep it because it's cheap, and I technically do have two mana. Um, and I do have an early play, but I'm... Um, hey, okay, you, you, love the, you love the YouTube videos. Okay. Um, always check. Sometimes we get guys just coming in off the street, uh, and I always want to shoot them the directions. <clears throat> well, the stream, you're on stream right now, and you're going to be in the next video. So if you watch tomorrow's video, you're going to hear me talk about you. Um, so that's pretty fun, right? Came for the cards and stayed for the voice. Now there's the mammoth. All right. I'm gonna take my horse to the old growth troll. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. No attacks. And turn. The trick is we just want to get that righteous Valkyrie off. Um, so let's see if we can stop his onslaught here. Oof, coming at me quick like. Coming at me quick like. Uh, 
and then we hit him with the whoa. Whoa! Boo 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 We just gotta hold him off till we can get Righteous Valkyrie out. And now he's got no blocking flyers and no way to gain life, so he can come in with as much as he wants. Um. Uh, so yeah, he can he can rush in with what as he wants. It ain't it ain't gonna happen. This ain't it, Chief. Um, unless you got some sort of green board wipe, you gotta hit me again with that. You might hit me again with it. Um, I don't really care if he attacks me. He's got no blockers. I'm not as powerful now, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I only got to do four damage, so, you know. Oh, well, he quit. So that's three in a row, folks. <clears throat> uh, moving up here, getting some good matchups against some off meta, so maybe we're getting good luck. Um, you were just in time for the show there, Orion. You got a, you got a front row seat to some, to some beating there. Very good timing. Yeah, you got to see uh, full form there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Too slow and not right. Better. Um, I probably don't need... I probably don't need the fight as one. <laughs> Dab sneeze. Facing another, a fellow Azorius player. Glorious Azorius. Necrecon. Necrecon. Sounds like a Necron. Um, Let's see if we get counterspelled here. He's got he more in counterspell range now, so Yep. Mystical dispute. I did that one then because I can play Island, then uh Youthful Valkyrie, and still have enough money left for a lofty denial, so. Hey, look at that. Adrian Monster is now subbed. What is up, Adrian Monster? Thank you coming in with the big sub. The big Italian sub there, coming from Vegeta. Adrian Monster, tutto bang. Hype. Um, Omen of the Sun. I don't really care if he creates two and gains two life. Not really a big deal for me. I'd rather stop his big stuff. <clears throat> All right. Any, I don't really care if he comes in as a Omen of the Sun. He's just, what, is he going to create a ton of these? Is that the deck? Uh, Angelic Ascension. Okay. We don't have the Lofty Denial, but we do have the Light of Hope. Tudo ótimo. Ciao. Tudo bem. Dream Trawler. Oof. Would have loved to love to deny the Dream Trawler, but unfortunately. Um, gotta wait till he has no cards in his hand.
He's gonna take it. He was never subbed to any streamer. Well, now you are, brud. Welcome. Um. <clears throat> May it serve you well. Hey, thank you, Uncanny Arrow Guy. Thank you for coming by. Um, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, he can't attack with Uncanny. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, homie. If you do it, I'm going to get you. No, you didn't do it. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? You're not gonna do it. No, you're not gonna do it. No, yeah, you're gonna do it. No, you're not gonna do it. Okay, my turn. Uh, Angel, I don't know. Might try to counter spell that, but I can counter his counter. Um, so let's see what we got here. Thank you so much, by the way, Vegeta. You're you're the leading with nine gifted subs. Good lord, man! Please, everybody, if you are not subbed to Lord Vegeta, uh, click. Just go ahead and click on his username and go follow him, man. Uh, if anyone deserves a follow, he's at it every night, grinding out, man. Uh, absolute shout out to Lord Vegeta Twenty Two there. Oh, he's going in, guys. So that would be five. Oh my goodness, Arma Ghost. My Arma Ghost. What what are you even doing, man? Four in a row. And a five gift subs. It's lit, sitting at number seven. Sitting at seven gifted subs to the channel. What are y'all doing out here, man? Oh my goodness. Mizras, Hudson Hawk, Apotheosis, Spirit, Spirit Reaver, and Luziones all have subs now. Why we're giving out subs like crazy. Good lord, guys. Should we go for the glove game? Here we go, guys. Let's get the hype for the glove game. Drank. Uh, let's get that hype for that glove game, man. Oh my goodness. Three tier three subs to Xenagos, Harusiyan, and Jadakiss. Good lord. Um, oh, three tier one subs. Gifted a total to... Oh, he wanted that number one spot. Good lord, folks. These guys are coming in crazy, man. Holy smokes. I don't think anybody's gifted that much on one night. Jeez Louise, I didn't realize I was that entertaining. Um, Lord have mercy. Coming in hot, guys. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'm, I'm going to buy that. I'm definitely going to buy the pre-order now. So, y'all, if y'all like pack opening videos, y'all y'all just bought yourself one. Because um, that was, uh, that was uh, crazy right there. Um, 
Oof, we need a man of something fierce. Uh, so y'all, y'all just bought yourself a pack opener video. You just love me. Well, I mean that is amazing, guys. Um, that is amazing. Uh, absolutely. Spread the spread the good word of the villainy. The ev the good word of the the villainy. Um, I'm glad I can be here every night entertaining you guys. It's it's really a privilege. Um, okay, just foretold some. Hopefully we can get a. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Um, I'm gonna do Linvala. I'm gonna do Linvala here for the glove game. Let's see if he let's see if he plays whatever he's got popping up. I don't want to get Righteous Valkyrie on the board yet until I have some air cover for her. Um, so even if he runs a wipe, we can sacrifice and keep Youthful Valkyrie alive. Well, I love you guys. Uh, love my subs. I love sub sandwiches. Um, I love submarines. I love my subscribers. I love lamp. Oof, okay. He is running a... God, I can't ever remember this one. What is this one called? Guys. What is it called, guys? I don't know. Uh, so, that's not Sultai. It's red, black, and green. It's called... I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I made a similar deck, but I didn't double down on the Maskwood. Um, so there's Poison the Cup. We're going to go ahead and... Um, we'll just deny it. Yeah, I made a similar one once, but I'm doubling down on the all form and the the transmutation and stuff like that. Maskwood is good, but Maskwood's a little expensive. I, I I like Maskwood, but you really need to run it in a ramp shell to play it standard. Stock standard is just uh, doesn't work. Jund, I remember that. It sounds like a jungle. Yes, thank you. Normally McBash is here to help me out, but he's taking a break. Um, welcome to the Jundical. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. No, we are the same. We are the people that you lie. Bounds and believe. If you got your mana, honey, you about to believe. Jundical. Oh my god. There goes the glove game, folks. Uh, there's five in a row, five guys. We're going to go for the big six, and then we're going to call it a night. You think we got big six in us, guys? I need drinks. Drink. Uh, let's go for big six, man. Drink. Uh, there we go. All right. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Oof, terrible early hand, one mana. Um, actually not bad. Um, Starnhelm, you haven't really done much tonight, so you're the odd woman out. Nurgle! Okay, I've fought this guy like three times today, and he always beats my ass playing poison decks. Um. Yeah, hello Nurgle, I know you, man. Yeah, we know each other. Um.
It's like this dude came back in the game just to run poison decks. It's crazy. He's like, man, I'm just gonna make a I'm gonna make some dude. I'm gonna call him Nurgle, and uh, I'm just gonna come in and run poison. So hopefully I won't get hit with too much removal right now. Generally, he plays a heavy amount of removal. Um, <clears throat> so let's see here. No, another Elvish War Master. Okay. Um, so let's do this. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, big support of the channel from way back, guys. Uh, so he's probably going to play Binding of the Old Guy. Yeah, I knew he was going to play Removal right then and there. So he's going to come in, pop, pop, pop. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit it again. And then we're going to hit it again. Um, hopefully he doesn't have more removal. Generally he has a ton. So he might play Binding of the Old Gods right now. He didn't have it there, so he didn't draw it. So let's see. If he doesn't draw it, if he doesn't play removal now, discard two cards. Wow. Okay. I need Orvar. That's a mana. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Call the Death Dweller. He's going to bring back the Jura Blight Blade. He ain't got no flyers, man. He ain't got nothing, man. There's a Blizzard Brawl. He hit me with the one. That's the 6 1 run right there, folks. That's the 6 1 run right there. Clutched it. Clutched it. Azorius doing it. Azorius doing it tonight, guys. That is the 6 1 run. All the way up from Stock Diamond. Um, I mean, Stock Platinum. Uh, six in a row with this bad boy right here. We left it all in the field tonight, guys. Can't, I can't do better than that. What else can I do? Stignox. There you got the, uh, you got it, bro. You saw the six one run. We'll see you, man. Um, absolute killer of a deck, folks. Absolute, just a slammer right here. Um, double down on the um, on the jank here, uh, and it absolutely just outplayed everybody tonight. All types of stuff. Um, so that's no losses tonight, guys. Zero losses. Um, left it all in the field. Love it. Uh, big fan of this one. I'm going to be playing this one for a while. Um, would love to revisit it in the future. Maybe maybe we can improve it with the Strixhaven cards. Uh, we don't know yet. So if you don't know, now you know. Destroying Angels, the final flight of the Azorius Angels. Um, until next time, guys, the word of the day is going to be feathers. And I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.